Hi again everyone, it's Kylara here and I just came to do a relatively easy quick video. This is just um, some of the books that I have personally in my library that contain mushrooms. So I thought I would go over with you and quickly go through the books and the pictures with mushrooms so that you can see um, if you have some available in your own library or whether or not you'd like to purchase some. some. Um, for uh, March Mushroom Madness color along that I will be hosting here on my channel. This is the first real color along that I've ever hosted um, and mushrooms are one of my favorite things to color right now so yeah so let's get right into it. Hopefully I'll be able to do this in one video quickly if it starts getting too long I will make it into two videos and let's get started. So this is Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Erie. And there are mushrooms throughout this picture here. There's a little mushroom table. As stated, the mushroom does not have to be the main focus of the table, nor does it, or of the picture, nor does it need to be um, a large part of the picture. As long as there's a mushroom, then it will be counted. So here are some little mushroom tables and some little mushroom houses and I believe that is it for that. Oh no one more sorry guys and that's not the right page. There are some mushrooms over here on this page and that is romantic Country, The Second Tale by Erie. Here we have Disney's Thomas Kincaid and both pictures that have mushrooms on it. Oh goodness, I've gotten something on my book already. Um, this is uh, Alice in Wonderland and he is sitting, Absinthe is sitting on a mushroom and the second page that has a mushroom is Alice in Wonderland as well and it's the Tweedledee and Tweedledum page and there's some mushrooms there and that is it for that book. Next we have the Posh Coloring Book Inspired by Nature by Marjolene Bastin. Here is the first mushroom picture. Here is the second and I'm not sure where the third one went. The third one is in here somewhere and hopefully I'll be able to see the little pink paper but I can't. Oh there it is so there's the third page with the mushrooms. Now I only own one Claire Markova book. I will be getting the rest in the next month or two. Um, I believe that every book that she has has mushrooms in it. Correct me if I am wrong, but there are lots of little mushrooms in this book. I love that page. There's some little mushrooms here. There's some mushroom houses and I'm actually in the process of doing this image. Here's some mushrooms in the perfume bottle, some mushrooms on the side of the tree. And next we have a uh, minuet de bonheur and um, I don't want to say the name of the author because I know I will screw it up, but I believe it's something Igusa is the last name. There's some mushrooms hanging up there. There's some mushrooms over here with the mice. There's some mushrooms here with the little angel kitty or the fairy kitty. Um, mushrooms over here. A lot of your books will have mushrooms, you just have to look for them. Here and lastly there's this little mushroom frog. 
ornament or message card here at the very back. Next we have the original pop manga by Camilla de Erico. And there is one image here of this young man using a mushroom as an umbrella. Next we have Anamorphia by Kirby Rosans, Rosanis. Now, each picture I'm showing you has a mushroom, mushroom res represented somewhere. I'm not going to point them all out for you. If you have these books, you will find them. But these are the images that I found with small mushrooms that you could use for this color along. And in Imagimorphia by Kirby Rosanis, we have these images with pineapples and the hairs. Next we have Fabiana Atanasio and we have Peter Pan and here there are some mushrooms and on this page there's some mushrooms up here. In Fabiano Atanasio's Alice in Wonderland we have absinthe sitting on a mushroom here and there's some mushrooms on this page as well and here are more mushrooms in fabiano atanasio's snow white we have more mushrooms there's some mushrooms down here and there's some mushrooms on the trees over here there are mushrooms down here and there are mushrooms right here and next we have Inklings 2 by Tanya Bond now these are weird little mushroom like plants as well as these um, could be as well. I have a small little color by number and it actually has a whole page of number of marshma mushrooms, marshmallows, goodness gracious. So there is that. Next we have Autumn Magic by Edwina McNamee. Now I have a couple of her books and mushrooms are a um, subject that you can often find in quite a few of her pages as you can see. Mushrooms on her hat mushrooms inside the jar. Next we have the buns. Here we have some mushrooms and again here we have some mushrooms. Next we have Dreamlings 3 by Edwina McNamee. Again, these books tend to have quite a few um, mushrooms. So hopefully um, by me spending a little bit of time investing um, in finding these pictures for you, you won't have to do the same in your books. So more time to color for you. And there's another one. Here is another. This one is so cute. And that's all for that one. And we are going to do one more, one or two more books. And then I am going to do a second part 
So this is nice little town four by Tanya Bogomostolova. And the title page has a mushroom. And they there are mushrooms represented in each of these pictures. I am not going to point them out because I'm sure you can find them. These ones here are, are quite there's quite a few in these books. There's a great big mushroom. I don't even see them personally myself on this page. Oh, right here. And I think that is it for the mushrooms in that book. We have um, Color My Art by a Cuckoo Surreal Fantasy. And there is this image here that has some mushrooms and one more Alice in Waterland by Deborah Muller has a couple images so there is this one and it has some mushrooms down at the bottom and this cute little girl here is sitting on some mushrooms as well so that is it for our first video showing the books that I have that have mermaid or showing the books that I have that have mushrooms in it mermaids where is my brain going I'm very tired I suppose so I will see you in the next video thanks guys